It's showtime, folks. The Bauer Show. News team, assemble! The Bauer Show is live now. I think it's yours just because you marked it with your urine. This is The Bauer Show. Welcome, welcome back, everybody, to Beer Half Full Bauer. In under 10 minutes, I'm going to give you at least one, if not two, laughs and or chuckles here on this coronavirus Monday, post-Mother's Day. Hope you had a good Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Hope you enjoyed a weekend with your moms if you had the opportunity to do exactly that. Let's start off and roll into some coronavirus Twitter logic. First, I will ask you to log on to thebowershow.com slash shop and check out our gear there. We got Memorial Day right around the corner. If you get a chance to get out then for Memorial Day, maybe there's something you want to get for yourself or friends, something you want to be wearing from the Bauer Show podcast or uh, the, uh, uh, the Dad's Home podcast, if you want to go that direction, the Mount Rockmore podcast, all of that stuff is there at thebowershow.com slash shop, as well as check out the new podcast we just put out there. If you like Southern Rock, we just put out the Mount Rushmore of 38 special songs for the four greatest songs of 38 special into a mount rockmore formation and there's past ones like uh the beastie boys with the nfl network's adam rank and others so log on to the bower show.com find it right here and please enjoy all right onwards and upwards to some coronavirus twitter logic just going through the feed on my twitter channel and seeing what's of interest there has brought me this little nugget which i think was fantastic yesterday for a mother's day Coming from Mary saying, when we're back to normal, I want to open a bed and breakfast only for women suffering from burnout. I'm going to call it resting bitch place. Yes, absolutely deserving of that round of applause from Mary. All right, moving onward here. Uh, It's great when you get dogs wearing people clothes and you take a picture. Personally, my golden retriever hates it. Come Halloween when the kids are trying to dress him up like a pumpkin or something. In this case, these dogs all seem to be relatively happy when it comes to what they're wearing. And they're getting ready to take the family picture until, see the cat there on the left? The cat gets in the way. Uh, Leave it to Pops to fix things. Now, there's no audio for this, but Pops decides to go around the back and say, you know what? You're not supposed to be here, Mr. Cat. You're not supposed to be in this. Look, is there something? Can you tell where the difference is here, Mr. Cat? We're all dogs wearing ties and dresses and suits and you're a cat so he tries to escort like a like an awesome golden retriever bouncer the cat out of there cat doesn't want to go cat's happy i don't know if that turned into the picture right there i did see some still shots that didn't look like that cat was involved as much as it seems to be at the present moment but nonetheless good bouncing from a golden retriever i miss baseball probably more than anything during this coronavirus pandemic And this might have fixed it for me. A brand new version of baseball. Now, I will highlight for you that these five people playing this brand new game do not appear to be social distancing as per CDC guidelines. But that's kind of okay in this case. They will be. You'll see them disperse. You'll see them disperse rather quickly. And then somebody has to put a... It's like spin the bottle meets batting practice. Ball's on the tee. Somebody's got to try to hit and see if they can hit the other players. Listen in. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh. Trying to hit the ball off the tee at somebody. Oh, oh, Everybody's popping it up. Oh, oh, got her in the hind quarters. And now her turn. Oh, he's trying to be all ballsy and then hit somebody else in the back down the road. That is solid gameplay. I don't know. I I guess I'd call that base dodgeball. I don't know what we would refer to that as. But that's a fun game. I could could certainly watch that for a long matter of time. No doubt in my mind. All right. We love kids. We love babies. We know that as everybody's trapped and eating, there's some stuff you don't want to offer babies. There's some stuff babies, well, frankly, they don't want to eat. Wasabi may be one of them. This mother has a camera rolling and doesn't seem to care. Want to try wasabi? No. Do you want to try it? No. Okay. Let's copy. Do you want to try it? <laughs> Smell it. Smell it first. Oh, this could go horribly wrong. Oh. 
wait for it. Help. <laughs> I think they speak for all of us who have had that one bite that just had too much wasabi in it, not enough of the soy sauce in the mixture, and all at the back of our minds thought help as we are reaching for our Sapporo. Maybe I'm the only one here. Wrapping things up, we want to pay tribute to a man who died today at the age of 92, but still to me is one of the greatest television fathers, although I would never want his character to be my father in my entire life. Jerry Stiller, Ben Stiller's dad, who, as I understand it, according to Ben Stiller, his dad was great. So this is a character that Jerry Stiller played along through numerous other characters in numerous other plays, movies, television shows. He played George Costanza's father on Seinfeld, and he passed away today at the age of 92. This is an outtake, a blooper reel from one of the episodes of Seinfeld that you can see they're kind of trying to improv off one another. And Jerry Stiller has everybody cracking up so much that even Jason Alexander's rolling on the floor. Uh, Who a, put you up to this? Was it her? All right, wait a minute. I think you've got it backwards. My George isn't clever enough to hatch a scheme like this. You got that right. <laughs> the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Uh, come on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> That means whatever the hell you want it to me. You're saying you want a piece of me? <laughs> you saying you want a piece of me? <laughs> you saying you want a piece of me? You saying you want a piece of me? I can drop you like a bag of dirt. <laughs> you want a piece of me? And there it is. You got it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, the great Jerry Stiller, long gone at the age of 92. Uh, we, we wish he and the family all the best. Uh, he gave me plenty of laughs both inside and outside of this coronavirus world. So uh, as I go through and watch a ton of Jerry Seinfeld reruns and hope that you do the same thing, we'll think a little bit more about Jerry Stiller. Uh, we'll miss him, that's for sure. That's it for us here at The Bauer Show. Catch up with you guys tomorrow for a Tuesday edition of The Bauer Show right here at Beer Half Full Bauer. Until then, my friends, be safe. See ya. Make sure you do your homework and tell at least three friends about The Bauer Show podcast. Get in on the conversation or start a whole new conversation at the Bauer Show Facebook page, facebook.com slash Bauer Show. And follow us on Twitter. Hit us up anytime. The conversation is there 24-7 on Twitter at the Bauer Show.